first, uh, my name is Kenneth Byrd. My company is Crystal Edge Technology Screens, and our screen paints that we make are Supreme, the Ambient Light Rejection 15, and Ambient Light Rejection 17. So I'm running some tests right now, and my I'm going to call it the Virtual Circuit Board because it's pretty much the only name I can pretty much think of that actually would stick well. Um, I'm going to be actually getting a few VR um, setups here. So the Ocular Rift, I think, is two. I ordered those already. Those will be coming in soon. And yeah, I know, I still have a long way to go when it comes to wire management. I had to relocate the projector because where the projector was sitting here was just not going to work. So I had to run extended cables from there. And those cables had to run from all the way back here. And yeah, it's crazy. There's wires running everywhere in here. I have a lot of management to do until I can get everything figured out. So this is the size of the scan I got so far. Got to run a test real quick. Um, I still have to paint this wall in right here for the digital board. And then I got to put some kind of crazy digital abstract art there. This is going to have to be removed completely. So it's a whole lot of stuff going to be changing in this room uh, bit by bit by bit. So uh, yeah, it's going to get a bit crazy in here. So right now I'm going to do a virtual scan. We'll do a scan in here with the mapping software. So it's probably going to freak my neighbors out quite a bit. And you know, the cool thing about it is if I, if I wanted to, I could stick my projector out the window. I could literally scan the entire side of my neighbor's house. I'm gonna see if I can get permission from him to do that. I'm gonna see if I can get permission if I can uh, put my projector right here and scan the side of their house. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have two of these projectors located in here because my equipment is portable. I can move it anywhere I want. So if I wanna put a projector here in the winter or in the summertime, um, I can basically scan the side of my neighbor's house for a test. Pretty sure he wouldn't mind. All right, so uh, let's get back here where we're gonna be at. So this is my little command area back here, where I'm gonna be back here doing my, have my fun. I set my stand up and I should fire up my red lights in here, just the red ones, just to have those popping in here. But I'm gonna mess with this stand up a little bit. All right, so I got it all scanned out. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna scan in here, but I'll just do the whole wall. All right, so let's come over here and see if the camera and everything's going to run perfectly. Because usually when I take these things apart, I have problems with them. They will act up. <sighs> this is where I need to put a curved screen in here, like a giant curved screen. Because I could scan literally the whole curved screen. So it looks like I'm not having any problems. Smoothly. Last time I took the thing apart, boy, it was I had to kind of program the thing to get it back to where it was. It was a nightmare. But it seems to be running very well, so that's good. Imagine you being my next my neighbor across the street and you're just they can see right through my curtains. I don't mind, like I said, it's nothing here for me to hide, but imagine one minute lights are going on and off and it's neon lights flashing, and you're watching this scan or whatever craziness, but they don't understand what it is, and I explain it to them what's going across my uh, my screen right now. Okie dokie, man, that whole thing freaking went through. Wow, okay. So when the scanner's dark like that, that means it, it's scanned completely, and that's, it. that's the brightest it's gonna get. That's it, that means the scanner is activated. So now we come over here to the toys we get to play with on here. It's the whole scan going this one off right now. Let's see what we're gonna do with the wall right now. Um, I pretty much are gonna color this in right now. Or I can just put layers in. I can just put some crazy layers in. I'm just gonna grab uh, bah, 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 that magic brush. I think I need to widen my brush a little bit. Or you know what I should do? Even better, even better, I should just get the magic brush here. And just put some. So I'm gonna put a picture right in here. I'm just gonna do layer to layer. That's all. Just mess around some layers. All right. Let's see if we can even this out. If we can try to even it up a little bit. All right. I'm good with that. All right. Just gonna do one layer there. And put this here. All right, I think that's better. 
All right, let's go get, create a surface real quick. So right now the scanner is active, it's actually scanning whatever I hit just now. And let's get something out of my selection. Um, I want something out of my selection. There we go. Hmm. I'll take the screaming head right now. I'll do that one. All right, so now we got the screaming head. Uh, let me see. All right, let me see what's going on here. Oh, I forgot I got to insert. Well, I haven't used this in the last couple of days. There we go. We got inserted right there. So it should be popping up in that corner right over there. We're going to get a screaming head in a few minutes right in that corner over there. All right, so I'm going to publish this right now. So now it's actually going to throw the image in a few minutes. And you'll see a hit on the other end, back and forth. Voila, there's the head. Doo -doo -doo. Looks better up here, I'm telling you, because it's darker up here, and I can play with, I can do special effects up here, which is pretty cool. All right, so now we got the giant screaming head. Let's go with, uh, let's do something else. Um, um, let's see. Let's put a... We got stuff we can play with. We can put a vortex in if we want. We can take the whole screen and turn it into a giant vortex. Let's go over here. This is where it tells you it comes off better with black technology because everybody uses this stuff on white screens and it looks like it looks horrible. So using this on our black technology, it gives it more of a better effect. So I'm going to come over here. Let's grab something else. Let me see. I'm going to go back into design over here. And we are going to put in another layer. So we're going to go back to our magic brush. And let's put something here. Come right, I swear, here. Here. And put one there. All right, color in our area. I suppose if I'm doing any form of like special effects or something like that, I or mapping something like that, I'm going with the black technology. The black technology cloaks everything, like everything. You don't get any like dispersed. Like if, you, if I'm doing this on a light gray screen or a white screen, the problem I'm going to have is when it hits the screen, it's going to actually give off white light everywhere. So I don't want that. I want the screen to absorb all the light so I can just see the graphics only. All right, the design only. All right, so we hit the interface right there. Um, well, we're going to put something weird on this one. Um, let's go over here. We're done. Um, let's go to my images. I'm going to go over here and grab something out of their selection. Oh, I can do the outer space. Oh, yes, I got to do that outer space on here. I got to do that one. There's a really cool effect on here. We're going to do, um, hmm, let me see. Let's do the vortex. We'll do that one right there. Put that there. All right, and then we're going to hit publish, and then we're going to get something really weird. It's going to pop up next to the head. There we go. Now, like I said, my neighbor's house, if he gives me permission, I'm going to scan the whole side of his house with this, actually not this one. Um, I've got some good news. My other Chrissy may be ready to go, so um, I had to pay a little bit of money to get that one fixed. That's a 7,000 lumen short throw, so I had to pay to get that repaired. So with that one, I could definitely hit his house and three other houses with that one. It's 7,000 lumens. That'd be easy, especially at night to do that demonstration. All right, so let's see. We got that one up there. Uh, let's see. Let's do something else. I'm going to take that out. Take that whole project out right there and change it out. It's working perfectly, so that's good. Because every time I move this stuff, I always have problems with it. Oh, they got a new update. Look, there's a new update coming up. God, I hate doing freaking updates. Every time I do freaking updates, I always have problems with the equipment. Hmm. I don't want to do it. I really just don't want to do the update. Last time I did an update, I was out of my system for like three days. It did not go well.
and later on today, I'm going to be doing some freaking cyberpunk. You know I'm, why I kept my game? Because I like finding the freaking, I don't know, it's fun just trying to find the glitches. It's just gotten to that point now. I think people, some people are just keeping the game just to find glitches on the game. It is really fun just looking for crazy glitches in the game. And keep in mind, I already bought another copy of it for the PS4. I'm not, I'm actually keeping it wrapped up because, yeah, that game's going to get pulled. It's going to be one of the worst games ever. And I'm going to have a copy of it brand new to add to my collection. I actually have a copy of Thrill Kill, if anybody remembers that game. So let me see. Let me go back in and let me grab, uh, blah, 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 blah. let me grab my magic brush right here. Or I can just basically just do a which one for the whole section. Eh. Let's brush it up. No, no. Let me brush it up. Yes, brush the whole thing up. No, no, yeah. Let's just do this. I don't want to do multi layers. I just want to do. Uh, give me this right here. Let me change this over to uh, the magic wand. Here we go. Bring this up a little bit more. There we go. I hit the whole screen. So now I got the whole screen covered. All right. Let me see. Do I want to do the outside or outside? I should have just turned the projector to the side. Oh, I forgot I can move my projector anywhere I freaking want now. Oh, yeah, I'm going to scan the whole side of the wall tomorrow. All right, let me see. Or I can swap that projector, bring in the ultra short throw, and I can scan the entire room in one hit. That's what I need to do, bring an ultra short throw in here. All right, let me see. Let's go to create a surface. Done with that. Go to this thing right here. I'm gonna put in a vortex. Put something cool in. Let's go to special effects. Now, the cool thing about it is equipment over here is wireless. So I may be mounting a projector to the ceiling. All right, that one I do like. And let me get another one. Let me see. Where's the, uh, the other one? Select. Well, this is new. Yeah, I like that one. That's pretty hot. I'm gonna do that one for the ceiling. That'd be perfect for the ceiling. I'm good for the ceiling. And what's the other one? Where's the one with the orb? The floating orb. I want that one too. Let's see. Floating orb. What's this one right here? Oh, these are new. Yeah, these are new. These are new. I like this. Okay, cool. I got some upgrades to it. I want the orb. 
This is it right here, the spear. I like this spear right here. It's hot. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be using this for the floor. Okay, I wonder if I use this one. If I layer, if I use this one first, this is the first layer I gotta do. If I go back in and I change the design and I get the paintbrush, all right, and I paint a little spot here in the center. I'll take that and I'll add in. All right, it's got to go around. So it's got to go around and it got to really disappear. Right there. I'm going to go back around. Transfers over there. I got to skip that. So I'm thinking how to figure out how to get around this. Okay, if I put that there, I'll take that there. I'm just going to trim that off a little bit. So it turns from here, it goes from around here. It doesn't touch over here. Nope. All right, so it doesn't touch that over there. So if I go over and I put a planet here, it doesn't touch this area at all. So I'm gonna put the sun here. Cricket Sun. Alright, All right, so I can put this sun over here. I'll go over here and grab me a sun. Let me see. Look at my files. I got a picture of the sun over here somewhere. There we go. I'll take the sun and put the sun over there. Yeah, could look better, but it'll work for the time being. And then I can basically go in and publish this and see what kind of weird object we get out of that. Should have thrown a Milky Way across there. That's cool. I should have did it with more, more. I should have did it with more spurs of light coming out in different directions. Like, but I'm just thinking off the top of my head. Now let's just put a star field in there, like a crazy star field. We can avoid the sphere that's going back and forth. So we'll grab the brush and we'll get the brush out a little bit wider. No, what's wrong? Okay, brush out a little bigger than that. All right, so where is it coming at? It's coming this way. It's not going to touch me here. This is what I'm trying to figure out where. It's going to land there too, and it's going to hit there. All right, can't do that there. All right, so. I'm just going to basically just take out whatever it hits, that's all.
Okay, so it comes around. Where are you coming at? Right here. So all of this is going to have to be removed. What else are you hitting at? Here. Right to there. So that's going to have to be removed. Take all of this out. I don't know where you're gonna come at. I'm gonna come back around and come around here. So this has to be removed right here. So come back around, come back around. Okay, so you can bring it from here. Stop it from here. I wonder if you come past here. How close do you come to this? You don't come anywhere near that. Okay. Do you come here? Mm -hmm. Bit there. Hmm. All right, cool. I'll take that. I'll come here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you missed that by a couple inches. Come back around. There. All right, cool. I'll take this. Starfield. All right, let's just let me do some easy tests real quick. It's an easy one to do. Just cover the whole entire screen, whatever we're taking up up there. Again, we, are we skipping this? Yeah, we're skipping that. Go past that. Got my adapter for my Dreamcast. I still don't have my Power Stone. Freaking unbelievable. I'll have to buy that again. I'm literally going to have to buy that game again. Because I don't think I'm ever going to see it. Like, they literally don't know where it's at. So I'm going to have to buy it again. It's only 50 bucks down the drain. That's where I lose so much money. So I got the adapter piece. I can play it tonight. But I ain't got no freaking Power Stone to go with it. I'll have to go back in and buy it again. Eventually, watch the minute I buy it, it pops up at my front door two days later. I guarantee you. I have to give it to my cousin because he doesn't. He has a Dreamcast and he doesn't have Power Stone, so I just give it to him because I'm not going to need that many. I'm not going to need two sets of it. All right. 
I'm just gonna do one more. Um, I'm just gonna magic on the whole screen. I'm gonna do magic on the whole screen. Hmm. Yeah. What was this right here? I wonder. Ooh. That looks freaking cool. See if I can overlay that with something cool. And see. Get my magic brush. Hmm. Let's do the top. I haven't colored the top yet. So I'm gonna do my walls and see exactly how well this looks compared to my walls. While we're in here doing this on my walls. And if you look at the projector, right? How you tell when they're scanning if i was using like a regular projector to project this on it'd be super bright coming from the projector that's it that's the projector on right now doing a scan so there's no light coming from it at all so if you're doing this for like a halloween presentation or something crazy like for the kids or something they'll never know that the projector is on it doesn't give off like the lumens actually shut down and it's amazing like if i turn the other one on you can see this projector on if i have the other one on but that one you can't tell if that projector's on or not. We can tell it's on, but you know, it's not. If you had it hidden somewhere, they'll never see it. They won't see anything coming from the projector at all. I don't know how they pulled that off, but that is freaking cool. If I walk in front of that, it won't it won't hurt me at all to walk in front of it. And like if it's 7,000 lumens and I walk in front of that, it wouldn't even harm me at all, period. But if I walked in front of one of these projectors running anything else, like a PS4 or a, or a fire stick, yeah, I get lit up. I think me here is a sensor going off near my house. I mean, somebody's dropping a package off. All right, so now we're gonna do the outlines behind the back of the screen. Let's see, oh, the digital display would be perfect for that. So let's grab that real quick. I'll do a digital display that'll look pretty cool behind the back of it. Since we're gonna call this a microchip room, I'll do something cool with it. Let's see what we have going on here. Nope, just advanced the same image. We just expanded it. Um, there we go. So we're going to run this giant microchip behind the back. So behind up here, all of this has been now scanned. Basically behind the back, back of the screen itself. One's in the middle of the screen, one's in the back of the screen. I'd say if I just wanted to scan the entire room. Uh, not much. It's in here. Uh, hey, King Black, what's up, Chief? How you doing? Now I'm in here just doing some uh, some um, 3D uh, mapping with the uh, one of the projectors. I'm working on some software here, playing around. I haven't heard from you in a while. Let me see. I'm gonna 
gonna take out all of this right here. Um, let's go to my program right here. To remove that one, and remove that one. Then I have to go up to my uh, file. Ah, no, edit. I gotta go to edit it and undo. This is going to look pretty weird. Um, let me see. I want to change the backup into some Dragon Ball Z. You will see parts of it, but not all of it. So let me see if I drop it to the other layer. This would be the other layer here. Which one would that be? Nope. Nope. That would be this one. Alright, see if I can change that one out the way I want it. Let me preview for a minute. So I'm doing a preview one so I can see exactly better what I'm doing. Still give me the back part, I don't want that. Alright, go back in, change it again. Nah, just leave the back piece. Hold on for a minute. I'm gonna have to do the whole file over again. Hold on for a minute, hold on. What you were saying? I'm no longer a fan of your interior recent actions. Okay, no problem. Fine with that. Goodbye. Sent you down screen paint for free two times in a row to help you out. But no problem at all. We don't care. That means he's not entitled to the uh, 17 that's coming out. And that's supposed to hurt me because I lost a fan? Please. I just signed a contract a few minutes ago on my desktop and you don't want to know exactly how much money I'm going to get in for Black 17. And it's a lot. So I don't care. Besides, he was a Trump supporter anyway. Yeah, I just signed a big contract, and I'll show, I'm not going to show it to you because we have some problems, but yeah, I just signed a, a contract for, for the technology for 17, because how they were impressed, how that screen basically was able to blend all those screens at, the, at 1%. I told you, it's going to be a busy year this year. Six orders in my account and another 60 on the table. <sighs> Not a, get Trump support anyway, so good riddance. All right, so let's move on here. That's what I'm saying. Not professional. This guy has my phone number. Could have easily called me. He just felt like he was going to out me on YouTube. I don't give a rat's behind. We gave this guy a chance, and we did give him a chance. I could sue him with no problem whatsoever because, like I said, I displayed my vending number. Is a vending number? I sure displayed, yeah. So I displayed my uh, vending number for my uh, verification for my um, for my uh, copyright, and if he feels that it's wrong for me to actually 
uh, sue this individual due to the fact that he's taking my product down to Home Depot and slander it. Good readings. I don't want to be doing any business with him to begin with. But anyway, like I said, I'm keeping my word. As long as this individual learns to mind his business and stay in his backyard, then we won't file that lawsuit. But I have five years statute limitation on that. And keep in mind, once we convert over to a corporate license, which we're going to be doing next year, you won't be dealing with me. You'll be dealing with me and whoever signed under my contract. That's what you'll be dealing with. So if you slander me, you slander all of them. And they will come after you regardless. After that, I have nothing to do with that crap. What goes on? All right, so let's move on from there. Let's see. I like this so far. This is looking really good on the black screen. The one behind it, I wouldn't want to coat though. If I had no window there to begin with, I would have just coated the entire wall in black, which I should have did. But I can't because there's a window there. There's no way to get around it. There's a physical window behind the back of that screen. So there's no way to get around it at all, period. I'm stuck with the screen I have here. But if I had a chance, I would have just did the whole screen or just put a massive curved screen in there, which would have been perfect. But nah, I got a window there. All right, so let's go over here to my previews here. Um, let me see. I need to grab this right here. Right here. Let's see what I want to get right here. I want to do my logo. I love, I want to, definitely want to do my logo. I just something you can turn your, your artwork into basically like a gift or something. So that's what I want to do. Let me see. Oh, we got to do this one. We definitely got to do this one. I'm going to see, but can I map the whole thing out with this? Oh, yes, I can. I can expand it. Yeah. Let me see. I can, oh, no, no, no. I can't do that. I can't do that. I have to bring the image over. Nope. They're going to allow me to do it. All right. Um, I'm going to have to... Yeah, I should have went in and just did the whole surface. Just undo that. Remove it. Undo the move. Right there. Yeah, like I said, we're the only ones who have this technology. And I feel sorry for the jerkers who got banned from my banned country. Literally, I've banned entire countries that they can't buy from us, period, at all. So I feel sorry for them with the technology we have coming out that 17, 15. Good God, that stuff is freaking gorgeous. I cannot wait to get that stuff finalized so I can paint every screen in my house with that technology. Good gracious, that freaking screen looks freaking amazing. Man. Y'all just don't know how beautiful that screen is. All right, we got out of that. I don't even know how the freak we got out of that. Because usually we get stuck, get stuck in here. So let me see if I can just ink pen the whole thing. We're going to go in here and just do the magic wand. Okay, I need to expand that wand. I need to bring it over here with the magic wand. Do the magic wand. Do this right here. The brush. All right, color creation. Let me see, we'll grab um, that moving around is preview. So basically that's me previewing the screen right now. Um, let's finish up with here. Let's go in here and get a menu from there. And from there, what are we gonna do? We're gonna add on here, add something pretty cool. Um, we can put a female window washer on there with a bathing suit. We can put the Star Trek Enterprise on there. Oh, let's just do the female. This channel is set for 18 and up, so you know if this bothers you, then you got some issues. Oh, we got the Captain America. All right, we'll put them up there right now. I'll throw him in there right now. God, it feels so dark in here without my freaking LED lights. There we go. It'd be nice if I had an American flag waving in the background, and the background would be pretty cool. All right, I'm done playing with this stuff. I'm going to exit out of here, drop in a new program, wipe this off my, I'm probably going to do an update later on today for the new stuff, for whatever software they got on here for me to play around with. 
Alright, so we'll continue there. That's my scan that's going to come on, so I'll leave it at that. Come out of this menu, but I'll come out of menu done. And, uh, whew. So that's the brightest. It, it looks like freaking the Star Trek Enterprise in here, doesn't it? We got stations in here now. We literally have stations in here now. This right here, section right here, is going to be all freaking VR. I got some VR stuff that I'm going to be buying for myself, which is going to be sick. Crazy thing about this is, man, is that all this stuff right here is not, is not even going to... It's not even going to be... Um, it's going to be torn apart. All of it. Everything that I've designed in this house is going to be taken apart. This mantle. Because I'm told you, I'm in the process of buying another house. I'm buying this house, and I'm buying another house. So... I have to dismantle everything that I built in this house, take it apart, and trash it, which I usually do when I build projection screens. I'll build a screen and throw it away, throw it in the trash because I don't need it anymore. And then um, I'm going to restructure and do the whole thing again in the next house. But so I'm going to do everything you're seeing now. It's going to be done on a much more bigger scale and much more advanced. This is all practice. It's all training. So now we got our little road. Got a little sections here. We're building bit by bit by bit. So I need the virtual section for here for you know, scanning and mapping. This is gonna be my virtual setup in here. So I can't wait for that right there. And we'll get there bit by bit by bit. And after a while, like I said, when my time comes, you won't even know. I'm not gonna let anybody know when it happens or what. usually I show people when I'm moving, but nah. Nothing will come up at all, periods. Website might be down for a couple of days. You might go to the website and it might require a password for you to go through. That will be shut down for a couple of days, probably for a week or two. It'll be shut down. It'll be requiring a password to get through. The reason why is because, like I said, I'm going to be under company contracts. They have to get access to the website in order to place their orders through there because we're going to have a certain part of the website set up for them that they can go in and they can buy wholesale. There's going to be a wholesale section on the website. You have to have a password to get access to it. So I can password lock my, my website if I want to. So just to make sure that I don't have any orders pushing through while I'm going through this transition of moving to the other place, getting it set up, getting all my technology wired in, I'm going to need a couple of months off to work on, this, on what I'm doing. So I may be basically shutting my site down for maybe about four or five months. So like I said... Once the uh, transition is finalized, um, yeah, I'm going to need a few months to basically uh, get everything redesigned in the other house. I will not be recording any of it. Keep in mind, I will have four acres, four acres of fun, which means I will be having drones on the property and those drones will be armed. Yeah, I looked into all that. What I can get away with, what I can't get away with. Four acres, baby. Woo! Four acres is the place to be. So right now, I have to remove my racks. All this got to come out. All this stuff has to be removed. I got a lot of work in here. I'm going to fire my lights. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put in that, that, uh, that I'm trying to find glitches. I haven't found one. Okay, I found one glitch. The tree incident. I found the tree incident. Haven't disappeared through a map yet. Haven't freaking had a car bow up and shoot off into freaking outer space. Haven't had none of those glitches yet. That's what I'm looking for. So I don't really care about playing the game. I'm just hunting for glitches. And if I can't find glitches on the PC version, I definitely bought the, uh, what I might, well, I can't download it because they removed it from the store. But I can buy a physical copy from Amazon because I got to see some of these glitches. That's what I'm more excited about. I just want to check that one. I think that one's on right now. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, so let me show you this real quick. While I'm firing my stuff up in here to get ready to go some gaming, I'm definitely going to do the Pac-Man of Day 2. Okay, is that one? Wait for a minute. Yeah, that's big boy coming out right now. Trace it. That's the one damaged one. 
I call it damage when it runs everywhere in this sucker. All right, let's quickly fire it up. Oh, I have this on Zoom. There we go. Forgot it was online. I got some information. Ah, come on. My screen goes smaller than that. All right, whatever. One of those days. Wait for a minute. Why is my camera so far up? All right, cool. Let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and come out of here. Ooh, is that sexy? Black technology is freaking gorgeous. I don't do a lot of demonstrations with the lights out, but this stuff is amazing. Mine, I'm running this off 1080p. Let me go over here and grab my Steam. And I am going to play some. Oh, I definitely want to do Space Invaders. But first, I got to do Space Invaders. I haven't played that all day. I definitely be playing it. And let me fire my room up too for Space Invaders. My bunk in there, guys. All right, let's see. Which ones we got to fire up first? Let's see if I take these out. Um, which one is connected to the main one? It's connected. Oh yeah, definitely I use the wire man. It's freaking berserk over here. I got a time up for I don't know why my zooming is like so freaking far in. I'm trying to bring it back down. 
It's not allowing me to do it. I don't know what's going on with my phone here. So let me see what we gotta do here. This looks perfectly fine from here. Maybe it's because my screen's huge. I don't know. So it looks perfectly fine from here. I wonder if I can something zoomed up. But I want you guys. Oh, my stand isn't all the way up. Do it. There we go. I extend my stand. So let me get everything I hear to figure out can I can what is going on in here from why Chrissy is not reading the signal. Because right now my Chrissy projector, for some reason, is not accepting the signal. I don't know why. For some reason, it's not accepting the signal. So I'm gonna have to turn it off and reboot it to figure out exactly what went wrong. For some reason, it's not accepting the signal. Oh, I hate when it does that crap. So, so then I can figure out what else I need to run for my lights. But for some reason, Chris is not accepting the signal for some reason, so I'll find out. I'm just figuring that off. Ooh, ah, forgot about these suckers. Oh, hey, whatever, too late now. These have to be programmed too. These are really freaking colorful. I'm thinking I'm gonna leave them in here for the Space Invaders. But these are the ones, wait a minute. Are we kind of missing something here? Like, isn't this supposed to, oh yeah, we got two sets of these over here. What the freak? Oh, wait, 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 I know what these are. These are the other ones. It's the one that connects to the wall. All right, so we have two sets of those. There we go, these ones actually connecting to the wall over here. All right, just gotta power down the crystal for a minute. Or if not, maybe, because the other cable I had, I was running in here, I had a more expensive, high grade HDMI cable and it ran perfectly. This one right here is a little cheaper and that may be the problem. I may have to go out and buy me another monster cable in order to run it through. But we'll see what's going on in a few minutes. So then, I wonder if I can put you up on this stand over here. You guys can see the entire room. I don't have to get a webcam in here somehow so you guys can see the whole entire room because you're only seeing half of it. All right, Chrissy just shut off. So, let's see if we can get you guys in here. Yeah, there we go. This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect right here. I can just get you guys in here notched in here a little better. There we go. Ah, you can see the whole crazy setup. There we go. I'm bringing down a little farther. I can't go any farther down. All right, so I'm gonna leave you guys right there for right now. now let me figure out what's going on with the Chrissy. Why the Chrissy's being temperamental today and decides it doesn't want to function, All right? For some reason it's saying it's not reading this signal. I don't know why. I can think of it. Maybe it's my PC went down on me. 
Like really? Shut up on me. Or am I connected correctly? Come on now. Ah, oh, great. You have to be freaking kidding me. Are you kidding me? I spent so much money on equipment. I'm gonna have to go out and find me another computer, buy all the parts, put it back together again, put it back in the room again. This is where a lot of my money goes at. Just basically rebuying stuff all over again. So, I got a strange feeling that my machine shut down on me. I got to go over here and I got to test it on my other uh, setup over here. And disconnect from here to here. To see exactly what's going on. If it picks up on here, that means it's the Chrissy, which I'm praying it's not the Chrissy. I would rather be the computer. The computer would be a lot cheaper to replace than the Chrissy. For some reason... I'm not getting anything at all, period, popping up, so I don't know what's going on. So let me see. Uh, let me disconnect it from the Chrissy right back into my computer over here and see exactly what is going on here. What have we got disconnected to here? We're going to disconnect from here. There. Get in there. We have to disconnect from here. Let me see. This is going to come out. I'm going to have to run this into the back of the TV. Screen here, Let's see what's going on. Let's see if it is the computer or if it's the person. Well, that's got to be the problem. It's not the computer. So the computer is actually showing up. So, yep, I don't know what's going on. So, it's not the computer, it's running perfectly fine. It may be the Chrissy. Do you have any idea, if that thing is not working, how much money is going to cost me to replace that? I got that thing on sale for 560 bucks. Use three grand is what it's going to cost me. So I'm praying that we can fix this because if not, I'm going to have to replace that. And that's going to cost me some serious bread. It's not the signal that's the problem. Um, we need to log that in, please. What's going on with that? It's not logging in. Okay. I just get this fixed every freaking time. Every time. It comes in, sometimes it comes in all this technology I run. It's always going to be a conflict of problems. Let's get you out of the way. Let's put you back in. One, all right. Wow. Alright, you're running with no problem. So it's not that. So now I know it's not the freaking computer. It's not that. It's Chrissy. Damn. I actually made three grand today. Three thousand dollars on my freaking bank account for this damn thing. Get a freaking another one. Are you kidding me? It better work. Ah, thank you. Man, because yeah, I don't want to spend the money for that, man. People understand. These are like Chrissy's, man. These are top tier projectors. Even the older ones are freaking crazy expensive. So the last thing I want to think about is basically buying another one of this because done with these machines because I got it for 560 bucks. If I try to buy another one, they're $3,000. And anybody else who's selling them, actually, there is no one selling them because I try to find a see if I get another one. And then they just find it back off. This freaks me out for a minute. That's why I check my cables and everything, just to make sure that we don't have any problems. They freak me the freak out. 
Oh, they open up the computer.
I'm going to be on that for the rest of the day. Let me clean this one so. That's that ultra bright with the lights out. That's what I wanted to show you. Look how insane that screen looks. And yes, it does 3D applications. Man, that is one beautiful screen. I cannot wait till we get this thing up. And when it gets up to 50%, I'm coating pretty much. I think I want to do the ultra bright. Hmm. I got to figure out which screens I want to do. I'm going to get the arcade screen and ultra bright. Give me a black 17 here. And then a blue 17 back there for that replacement over there. And outside, I'm definitely going to put all black 17s outside. Well, gotta go. Thank you all for your time. Right now, uh, I gotta get cracked and get my labels dropped in for my containers real quick. Get you guys all taken care of, get that all done. So, um, tomorrow's gonna be Sunday, day Sunday. Yeah, Monday I won't be on. Monday I gotta get all this knocked out of the way, it's taken care of. Um, this screen right here is gonna be recoded. That is the slate. The black slate, which is going to be coming out pretty soon. I know, actually, I can't say it's coming out pretty soon. But I need a 100 inch of that one coated so I can get that on a larger scale, such like that one over there. And then I'll probably be back on maybe Thursday. I don't know. Because um, I got a few things. And like I said, I got a bunch of contracts I got to read through. Because I told you that next year, I'm doing things differently. I'm definitely going to be contracting my company out. Might as well. Especially when you're developing stuff like that. Definitely contracting my company out. All right. Thank you all for your time. I have to go in. God bless.